Denny Hines has been making music for more than two decades. Before finding fame, the singer toured and sang backup vocals for some of the world's biggest artists, including In Excess, Jimmy Barnes and Chaka Khan. Her big break came in the early 90s as a guest vocalist for The Rock Melons, which led to two top five singles with Ain't No Sunshine and That Word, L-O-V-E. The daughter of Aussie music icon Marsha Hines, music runs in her DNA. Now Denny is reflecting on her 27-year career through song. And Denny Hines joins us at the desk. Hello. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Always humans. good chat. <laughs> yeah. um, Denny Hines, my yes, story. Tom, this yes, is just yes. part one, you know. Yeah, it's not one. over yet, but no. it's 27 years of career. How did this story come about? Well, it was only when I was actually informed that I was up to 27 years because when you're doing this business, it just rolls. You just, it's, it, just, it, it, it just keeps going. And then all of a sudden, you, you get a tap on the shoulder going, oh, by the way, you're up to 27 years. And you go, huh? How did that happen? Because it not... Usually when you're doing a job, if you're doing it and you hate it, there's a point where you're going, oh my God, this is really annoying me, I'm hating it, I want to stop. Not once have I been in the music industry and gone, I'm hating this, I want to stop. So it's just been this journey where I've just kept singing and all of a sudden I'm 27 years doing what I love to do. It's great. Wow. It must be nice to sort of look back on those 27 years though and reflect. I know you're performing one of the yeah. songs that your mum performed in Hair. Yeah. Why so, was that special for you to include? Well, when I, I was born through Hair and I spent the first two weeks of my life sleeping in the orchestra pit when mum was at the Metro Theatre. And I've never seen Hair as an adult or as a, or, or, or as a human that could verbalise it. I was a baby. Mm. But then 40 years came and they did the first 40 year passing of hair and I heard the uh, overture for the first time and I said to my mum, oh, I know this. I know this bass line. And when you think about it, if you're in utero inside your mother and your mother is surrounded by music, as my mother was, standing on a stage with a, a band underneath her, all those vibrations I was getting mm. and I recognised that music. And as bizarre as that sounds, I recognised that music. Yeah. And so I decided... If I'm going to talk about 27 years, I've got to start where it started for me, and that was here, yeah. hearing Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, cool. A very special time. Mm. Hey, another great time, uh, working and touring within Excess. Yeah. Any good stories out of those times? I, I did a vocal with uh, Michael. Um, there was a track that they did on Welcome to Wherever You Are, where I sang on a track called Not Enough Time. And at the time, Kirk and I were dating, and I didn't want to... There's the video. Hi. Oh, Michael. Hi, honey. Um, oh, that's me. Anyway, um, when I recorded it, I didn't want to have any form of nepotism, so I, I named myself Miss Terry. Miss Terry, put it together. What Wait, do you get? What, what do you get? Say Miss Terry together. Miss Terry, Miss Terry. Mystery. There you go. Miss Terry. Good one, so that was, my, that was my name, and... and I don't think anybody really realised that was me. I'm very young on that recording. If you know my voice, you'll know it's me, but if you didn't, you'd think it was a session singer. And so, um, yeah, I, I wanted to be able to sing that song again. I was reading that you had a bit of a, a, a scary, I guess, experience with the band in a plane. Like yes. the, what happened? With we were flying um, between Dusseldorf and Hamburg, and they used to do little tiny... Learjet frights, you know, as you do when you're a rock star in the 90s. <laughs> and um, we were flying out and the band were on board and all the partners and something happened where the pilot lost communication with the ground control and from his perspective he could see another bigger plane coming towards us so we dropped about 5,000 feet. It's probably the first time I ever saw all of the guys, even the ones in the band that didn't like each other, turn around and say, man, I really, I'm sorry, man, I love you, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you realise we weren't going to die, it's like, I never liked you anyway. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. A very almost famous moment. I love it. Um, what about performing for royalty? Oh, that was weird. I, um, I was born on Crown Street, Tom. So uh, when things like this happen, when I'm living in Miami and somebody calls me and says, can you do a private performance, but they're not going to tell me who it's for, Luckily, I trust you, and I think, OK, <laughs> so I, I get on a plane and I get flown to, the, to New York and drive to Martha's Vineyard and get out of the plane and get into a car, then travel about 40 minutes, get to a boat, get to a boat, and a guy picks up my luggage, and when he picks up my luggage, his, his jacket lapel moves and there's a gun in his holster, and I'm thinking, OK, there's something going on here. Walk into a house, and it's Prince Andrew. 
I, I did a private performance for Prince Andrew. Wow. I slept in the same house as Prince Andrew. I woke up with Prince Andrew. Oh, uh, okay. In separate beds. Thank you. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. But, 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 but he was going shooting that morning, and I'm an avid vegetarian, so I ran around the album, at uh, the album, the island, chasing all the quail away so they couldn't get Quick, shot. Quick, scurry. <laughs> Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> Denny, always great to talk to you. Thank and you. All the very best with this very exciting Thank you very show. Much. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks, Denny. For more information on where you can catch Denny Hines, my story, just head across to our website.